Hello, hello, and welcome back. Today is day six. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna, I'm definitely gonna mess up. I already messed up like two days ago. Um, day six of Here Comes the Sun, 14 days of sunscreen, but I'm ching. And hi, welcome. My name is Dana. If you didn't know, my hair is getting crazy. I don't know what's going on. Oh, yes, I do. It's summer, or it's almost summer, and it gets very humid and it gets very big. <laughs> so hi, welcome back. I am excited for today's video because I have been meaning, meaning to review these and I just haven't gotten around to it. So today we are talking about Isden. These sunscreens I feel like are, they're not everywhere right now, but you've probably heard about them. They're pretty pricey. I think like they get this hype and they win all these awards and accolades and I'm always kind of hesitant because I don't know the expectations are so high and my expectations or reality I guess never live up to the expectations so yes that's what we're trying out today and we're just going to get into it I have both of them this is the Airy Fotona Ageless and the Airy Fotona Actinica wow these are a mouthful I'm probably not going to say the full name because Airy Fotona Actinica is um, like I just said a mouthful so I'll call it like the tinted one and the non-tinted one because that's easier for me but I will also kind of like make sure that you can see in the description below which one is tinted which one's not it's actually interesting the one that's orange in the bottle is the non-tinted which I would have assumed would be tinted and then the gray one is the tinted one but whatever so I'm gonna apply both of them to my face at once and I'm gonna apply one on this side and the other on the other side of my face just so you can kind of see the difference i think in terms of the formula they're not exactly the same but i want you to kind of just see if you're looking at the tint and maybe it's too dark or too light it'll give you a better sense compared to the non-tinted one so without further ado let's jump in i hope you are already subscribed if you're not do so and like this video and we'll get going here comes the sun and I say it's all right. All right, the first one we're trying out is the Airy Fotona Ageless. This is the tinted version. So this retails for $70 on their website, which is where I bought it. You can probably get it on Derm Store and maybe Skin Store as well. And sometimes they have discounts. So if I do see anything, I will list the discounts you can get. You do get 100 milliliters though. That's 3.4 fluid ounces. So per ounce, it actually equals out to be $20 per ounce. So if you think about it like that, and if you end up liking it and knowing that you're gonna like it, it is a pretty good deal for $20. You're getting a very high-end, very effective sunscreen. And this one is SPF 50 and it is 10.7% zinc oxide. So they are both mineral sunscreens. I'm happy to report also that this one does not have beta lactyl salicylate. So if you are looking for a mineral sunscreen that it is 100% mineral, this is one of them. As far as other ingredients, these are both unique in that fact that I actually think that if you're going to get any sunscreen that you really are looking for to get skincare benefits from also, these two are actually some of the few that I would recommend for that because they do have quite a bit of proprietary ingredients and ingredients with prolonged use that can actually benefit your skin. So in this one, it has zinc oxide, like I said, then it has DNA repair zones. These are enzymes that are derived from plankton and have been shown to help repair damage caused by the sun. It also has peptide Q10 and another peptide complex and vitamin E. So you're really getting a power packed list of ingredients as well as just the sun protection from the zinc oxide. So the things they say about this one is that it protects, repairs, and corrects. So we would expect any sunscreen to protect. That's what you're getting with your active ingredient, with your zinc oxide. But with this one, they say that it also repairs, which is that it addresses previous sun damage and it helps boost your collagen in your skin and, and reduce the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles. And then the correction side is the tint, which is really just a very temporary um, kind of effect of the sunscreen, but it's basically to correct like you would use makeup for. Right, moving on to the non-tinted side. This is the Airy Fotona Actinica. Wow, these names. <laughs> 
This one retails for $60. So the non-tinted side is $10 cheaper and you're still getting the same amount, which is 100 milliliters or 3.4 fluid ounces. This one has 11% zinc oxide and there is no butyloctyl salicylate. So it's 100% mineral, yay, hooray. Very exciting for that. This one also has your plankton enzymes and vitamin E as well as the zinc oxide. This one is water resistant for 40 minutes. They actually both are, which is really exciting to see. And they both have a pretty nice dry down and kind of velvet matte feel to them. The last thing that I wanna mention about both of them because they both have the DNA repair zones, but those are, as they say, so take it with a grain of salt, this is you know them trying to sell their product, but they are clinically proven to repair existing sun damage. I think the main difference when we're looking at the two of them, the tinted one, which is the Arifotona Ageless, this one has photo aging defense, whereas your Actinica one is designed for Actinica damage, which is your sun damage, like your previous sun damage. They're both gonna do a great job of protecting you from further sun damage. If you are looking for something to really help with previous sun damage, I would say the Actinica, the non-tinted one, could be better for that. But at the same time, you still get those DNA repair zones in your tinted one. So, and I think you may see results from either one. Okay. So I'm very glad that I did the side-by-side -side comparison. I think it does a good job of showing you what the tint looks like, but also how nice this actually, the non-tinted side is and how the white cast is there, but it's pretty minimal in terms of like, I've tried some mineral sunscreens where the cast is atrocious. <laughs> I like that both of them are 40 minutes water resistant, which is just a big plus, especially in the summertime, or if you're sweating, you know, mowing the grass. I always use that as my example because that's what I do. <laughs> and I, ne I normally can't wear a mineral sunscreen because I just sweat it off. And then I do like the fact that these are skincare. I mean, I don't often say that, but I really think that with continued use, like every single day, and if you're using these over the long term, you can help protect yourself from further sun damage, but also repair some of the sun damage you may have already had. Also for somebody who has more normal to oily skin, especially in the summertime, I do like the feel of both of them. I wouldn't say that their dry down is 100% and like setting, but they definitely have a very silky kind of feel to them. They don't feel greasy, but they don't also feel like super drying. So if you do have drier skin, this might be something that works really well for you in the summertime, just because it's gonna still feel like your skin is hydrated, but not be too, too greasy. As far as the tint, it definitely pulls a little bit more orange, yellow. For me, it works pretty well. Um, let's see, if you can see my tone right now, it kind of works pretty well. The only thing is I hate wearing tinted sunscreens on my neck because I inevitably, like this shirt, has a ring around the collar just from my sunscreens. So if I were gonna wear this, I would probably just use like maybe the non-tinted side on my neck and then the tinted side on my face. So I think these are gonna be very nice for most skin types, especially if you have kind of more aging skin and you really want the high protection. You're also getting a lot of product, like 3.4 fluid ounces is a lot of product. <laughs> so that is really exciting to see. I know that they are more expensive, but if you're investing in just one sunscreen, it's actually, like I said, like $20. I think the non-tinted one is actually less than $20 for fluid ounce. One more thing about the tint, I do think that if you do have a lighter skin tone, this might be something if you're like using self tanner, it could work well with. But if you are just kind of like wanting to be more pale, it's gonna be a little bit dark on you and maybe a, a tad bit orange, kind of yellowy. It's definitely pulling in the warmer category. For me, it's okay. It does, you do have to be careful about blending it into your hairline and whatnot, but you can almost think of it as a tint because it does have quite a bit of coverage, not like medium at all, but I would say it has about light medium coverage. So there we have it. I am so excited and so glad that I finally got this one up here. I've been meaning to put it up for a while and really talk about these because I know that people go out of their minds for them and like they just win so many accolades and you want to know are they good or are they not i do want to say one last thing i think me personally having both now i'm not saying that you should go out and spend what is that 130 dollars to get both of them but since i already have both i will actually probably use the like non-tinted side first and do a really thin layer and then do the tinted side on top because they both are mineral and from the, the same brand, I'm not that worried about mixing, or I'm not mixing, but layering them. And I think that is gonna give me the best look because this non-tinted side is a little bit, like I would maybe need to put some kind of makeup on because there is a little bit of a cast. 
And then this side is a little too heavy if I'm putting the correct amount on. But if I do a thin layer of both of them, it might be absolutely perfect. So that's what I'm going to continue to wear it as. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And I will see you guys tomorrow for day seven. <laughs> Bye.